Okay, hello Kyle. Ang aton nga discussion is on mathematical language and symbols. So, if you are going to look sa dra sa module nimo, wala ni siya included sa sa dra nga discussion. But if um as I look sa aton nga memorandum order ng uh, CMO nga ginasundan for the mathematics in the modern world nga for uh, non-bridge dapat we have mathematical language and symbols nga uh, topics if you, know, you look at the module and you refer to the video nga present ko sa imo so uh, ang week 1 week 2 and up until pagani sa mga patterns nga part so week 1 2 and 3 medyo na discuss na to sya tanan generally dito sa aton una nga video for this one i would like to present lang sa aton nga discussion about mathematical language and symbols para sa sining nga week so mathematics has its own language, much of which we already familiar with. So, for example, we have digit 0, 1, 2, as a 9. So, as part of our everyday lives, whether we refer to 0 as 0, nothing, or any other pang form, so, uh, we have sang sina nga, uh, digits in the form of, or in the context of mathematics. So, imagine, imagine ba lang you are in a certain crowd, tapos ang tanan-tanan ng mga tao, for example, sari-sari sila language. So, paano sila mag-understand kung wala ka certain nga language nga pwede gamiton? So, that is a the main reason kung nga amera kita ginakabig ng universal language para dapat mag ang mga tao. So, same also with mathematics. It is different siya with regards iban nga mga type of uh, subjects or type of languages. So, design the Inca, uh, you have or you need to understand mathematics. So, we have. So, let us continue. So, people sometimes have trouble understanding mathematical ideas. Not necessarily because the ideas are difficult, but because they are being presented in a foreign language, the language of mathematics. So, uh, especially if we have some medyo um, bago naman being a type of subjects, bago naman nga uh, topics sa mathematics, mabag na Sir Budlay, man, sir, man, sir Budlay man siya ang amun nga, nga ang amun na sir sa itsura niya palang Budlay na siya because we are not accustomed or we are not into the concept balanga na balanta na before. Bago siya sa doon pa na now, so that's why mahaba kita nga bago siya. Bago siya galing nga language of mathematics. So, the language of mathematics makes it easy to express the kind of thoughts that mathematicians um, like to express. So, ang, ang language of mathematics may tatlo siya ka characteristics. So, first, uh, it should be precise. So, it should be uh, concise and it should be powerful. So, amuna siya ang um, ang mga considerations or ang karakteristik ng ginakonsider natin for the language nga, uh, which is mathematics. So, mathematical language is precise, which means it is able to make very fine nga distinction sa or definition among a set of mathematical symbol. So, wag kang baka naman yung concise. Concise is because mathematicians can can express. Otherwise, long ang mga expositions or sentences briefly using some language of mathematics. So, the mathematical language is also considered to be powerful. So, that is, one can express complex nga thoughts with a uh, relative nga is. For example, um, uh, consider some sentence that the sum of any two real numbers is also a real number. So, uh, may ara ka mathematical representation for certain nga mathematical nga, nga expression. So, that is um, what we refer to as your mathematical language. So, let us continue. So, every language has its vocabulary. So, we refer to as words. So, it's rules for combining these words into complete nga thoughts. So that is what you refer to as sentence. So mathematics is no exception. So if we are going to compare mathematics and English, so sa English, mayroon kita words, then if we combine different kama words, maka 
make kita or makaubra kita sang sentences. So same also with mathematics. You have words and uh, you can form sentences. So same with sang application for mathematics. So as a first step in studying the mathematical language, we will make a very broad classification between the nouns of mathematics, which is used to name mathematical objects of interest, and the sentences of mathematics. So same with your English subject, identify natin ang ano, kung ano ang mga nouns sa mathematics, kung ano ang mga sentences sa mathematics. Okay, example, in English, a noun is a word that names something. An English noun is usually a person, a place, or a thing. For example, uh, your name, for example, whether it be, for example, kung sa din ka nag-aista, binikwil, or kabankalan, or uh, din ka iskwela, like fellowship Baptist college, or bisan hindi masyara nga uh, pertaining to the person, for example lang, rat, a cat, a book, so that is a noun. So, note that there are conventions regarding nouns in English. For example, uh, may, syempre, may arata convention sa English, like proper names are capitalized. So, babalaan mo proper name na siya because yung capitalized mo ang first letter. The mathematical analog of noun is called an expression. So, kung noun siya sa English, sa mathematics, it is termed as expression. So, what is an expression? Let's have this definition. An expression is a mathematical analog of an English noun. A mathematical expression is a name given to some mathematical object of interest. The phrase mathematical expression is usually shortened to expression. It refers to a correct arrangement of mathematical symbols used to represent a mathematical object of interest. So, Pwede nga tawagun mo siya mathematical expression or pwede na lang, diretsyo na lang, expression. So in mathematics, an object of interest is often a number, a set, or a function. There are conventions regarding the naming of, this, of nouns in mathematics, just as there are in English. For example, um, real numbers is us are usually named with lowercase nga mga letters. So take note of this one. So dapat real numbers should be in lowercase nga letters. So and mga sets, for example, if we will be dealing with sets later on, dapat nakapangalan siya in big um, capital letters or big letters. Such conventions are addressed throughout some thinning discussions. So without sets and functions, modern mathematics could not exist. So an expression does not state a complete thought. It does not make sense to us if an expression is true or false. So kung hindi complete ang thought of your um, mathematical sentence, so uh, it is referred to as your expression. So, kung expression lang ang nakabutang, hindi ka man pwede makahambang at true siya or false. Unless, kung kompleto ang thought or in the form of sentence, kaya pwede ka makaklassify if that is true or false. So, the most common types of expressions are numbers, sets, and functions. So, we have, so let's proceed. Kung tanawin ni mo dari sa atin nga, nga so, there, we will have, okay, so, okay, so, diretsyo na lang, medyo sala, niguro ang ito nga, ikaapat ni, so, for example, you have this uh, representation, we have 5, 2 plus 3, 10 over 2, 6 minus 1, and then 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, amun na yung nakita ni mga figure. So, kung tanong ni mo, they are entirely different. Sari-sari ang ilay itsura. But, despite nga sari-sari ang ilay itsura, they all have different... Um, sari-sari sila nga tawag or sari-sari sila nga ngalan. Pero same number lang galang ilabot si Lingon, and that is 5. So, Kung tanawin mo, 5 lang galitan na ng ilang answer. So, mathematical statements may refer to the same number but takes different forms. So, by themselves, nouns are not extremely useful. It is when nouns are used in sentences that uh, muna siya dahil nga way nga makomplete ng thoughts of your uh, uh, sentence para magamit siya in mathematical nga uh, 
nga usage. A declarative English sentence begins with a capital letter, ends with a period, and expresses, expresses a complete nga thought. So, that is for the English nga sentences. So, pero if we are talking about mathematical nga sentence, mathematical sentence is the analog of your English sentence. It is a correct arrangement of mathematical symbols that states a complete nga thought man. So same man chapon with our English nga subject, same happens with or same is true with your mathematical nga sentence. In a mathematical sentence, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So ang verb na din nga refer na to is the equal na time. That is for uh, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 sentence siya. Then, ang ating verb is your equal sign. So, next, for example, we have a value of 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, this is a sentence. Complete ang thought ka, may equal sign ka. And then, this is true. So, pwede mo siya maklasify kung true siya or false. Kay sentence ang ari dari sa Aton. So next, 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 4. So this is a sentence, ka may equal sign ka, complete ang thought. So, but this is false. Next, another example, x is equal to 2. So, uh, kung makita natin, x is equal to 2, may equal sign siya, so complete ang thought. Pero, paano natin siya i-classify? So, Uh, kung muna yung given um, expression, it could sometimes be true, but sometimes also false. Depende kung ano nga value ang i-substitute ni mo for the value of x. So, it is true when x is equal to 2 and false kung hindi 2 ang imo nga i-substitute. Next, we have the value nga um, x plus 3 is equal to 3 plus x. So, ang muna yung imo nga sentence. So, this is a sentence. It has a complete nga thought. Pero, uh, if you classify ni siya, if it is true or false, this is always true. No matter man kung anong value ang substitute ni mo sa x, so this will always be true. So that is, for the uh, sentence kag uh, expression nga classification for mathematics. So this is it for the unang video. I will be making another video for an example. So thank you. Stay safe. God bless.